All right, so let me ask you a question today. As we, this very first Sunday of the year, how do you have good new beginnings? It, what's the principle that you use to have good new beginnings? Like faith, let go? Faith? Space. Okay, space. I got there. Space. I'm going to suggest today that the way that you have great new beginnings is to have great endings. And that the way that we have endings absolutely defines the way that, that we move into new beginnings. And, and if we tell ourselves the truth, I, I bet you can think of, of a couple endings in your life that might have been like train wrecks. Anybody have like that? It could be in a relationship, it could be in a job, it could be a friendship that just ended badly. And, and sometimes when the situation ends badly, we're so committed to having a new beginning to move out of that badness or that difficulty, the pain, that, that we start new beginnings without really having an, a good ending. And so what today is all about is to have a great new beginning I want us to clean up all the old endings that we need to release. And so what to, the, today's service is about is a burning bowl. And during the burning bowl, we're going to write down everything that we need to let go of. I mean, anything. I mean, if, if you need to be here till 4 o'clock this afternoon, it's fabulous, right? But I, but I want you to be willing to let go of any pain, any situation, any disappointment, any resentment, so that I don't want you to take anything other than good into this new year. And not only do I want you to let go of the painful things, but I even want you to let go of the things that were just kind of good. Because sometimes we allow the good to keep us from the great. And what if this year you created a space that was so big that God could bless you in a way that is greater than you've ever known before. I want you to be willing to let go of any thought, any belief, any story, any drama that has kept you from being your most magnificent self. And also, any fear, any, any story that you've had about yourself, about I can't do this, or I can't do that, or I can't have this. I can't live that happy or that blessed. And, and to be willing to write them down. So when you came in today, you should have received two pieces of paper, right? Now, the bigger one, the yellow one, should be for your letter to God, correct? Now, sometimes I suggest that you switch those, right? The, the, sometimes we need a smaller letter to God and a bigger release page, right? Or if you filled up your little release page and you want to go on to page two or three or four, raise your hand and, and we will get you another piece of paper. But because I want you to really ask yourself, what do I need to let go of? What, what story, what drama, what belief, what experience? What old situation do I still think about or get angry about or resentful about? And would you be willing today to let them go? And so as I'm talking today, I want you to be thinking, feeling, and writing. Like if you checked in with your heart and your soul, what is the thing that I need to let go of to have my best year? Is there a painful situation from a year ago or five years ago or 20 years ago that is keeping me stuck in a level of life that I no longer enjoy? Am I willing today to let go of anything? So what we're going to focus on right now is just our deepest process of letting go. Whatever pops in. And if you think, if you think well, I've already forgiven that. If it pops in your mind, write it down. Don't debate it. And if there's a fear that has haunted you, that just keeps showing up over and over again, I want you to write down the fear. 
And if there's an I can't statement, I can't be happy or I can't do this or I can't live the life I want, I can't be fully alive or whatever it is, I want you to write down the I can't statement. I want you to release everything. See, as a spiritual being, you're energy, you're pure energy. But our thoughts and our fears and our drama define and, and kind of encase that magnificent spirit. And I want us to move that, that casing. I want us to be the very best version of ourselves. So right. Just right. I'm going to close your eyes for a minute. And if it, something pops up, I want you to open your eyes and write it down. But I want you to just close your eyes and ask your soul the question, what do I need to release? What do I need to forgive? What are the situations of the past that I'm still holding on to? And I want you to just write it down. And don't argue. If spirit pops it into your awareness, write it down. Whatever it might be. If there's a relationship that ended badly or a work situation that ended badly, write it down. See if you can write down all the feelings that are still attached to that situation. If there's somebody that you're having a hard time forgiving, and that you're still resenting, write it down. And maybe it's not a person, maybe it's an organization or a, an event. Just come absolutely clean. And nobody's going to read this. You're going to place it in the fire. It's just between you and God. If there's a heartache that you never thought could heal, write it down. And give it to God today. God, I give you everything. My hopes, my dreams, my fears, my insecurities, I give it all to you. I hold nothing back from you today, God. As we step into this new year, we step in with a free heart, mind, and soul. So if there's any situation, today just write it down. Just write it down. Now just check in with your body. Because your body remembers everything. Is there any place within your body that you're holding any upset, any resentments? Is there a place where you're holding any shame or guilt? Is there any place where you haven't forgiven yourself? Write it down.
So we give thanks for the ability to set ourselves free, that we can give anything to God. And the moment we let it go, it is gone. That God is always setting us free. But because we have free will, we have to decide that we're really ready to be free. So we give thanks for the freeing power of spirit. And so it is. Amen. So here's what we're going to do. If you have a piece of paper that you would like to place in the fire, now, why do we use fire? Fire is the great transformative tool. That whatever you place in the fire, it is instantly transformed and it moves from one form of energy to another. And so what, whatever we place in the fire is instantly transformed and, and comes back to us great, as grace. So God is the only thing in the universe that is so pure that it can never be polluted. That whatever you give to God, it is instantly purified and comes back as grace. So I want you to take that piece of paper that you wrote, all the things that you wrote, I want you to fold it just once. And then when you're ready, we're going to take it outside. We're going to place it in the fire. And it's instantly going to be transformed. And then it's going to come back as grace. Ready, set, go.
Okay, now we're going to write our letters. Now, there's lots of ways to write your letter to God. The, the way that I do it is my letter to God is a thank you note that I write at the big, before the year starts or right at the beginning of the year. And in this thank you note, I say, thank you, God, for all the blessings of 2023. Thank you, God, for all the blessings that I, that I didn't acknowledge or didn't notice, but I, I write it as a thank you note. And so I, I invite you just to open your letter, if you choose to play, um, as a thank you note, right? And then what I want you to do is, I want there's three areas I want you to look at. I want you to look at feelings, experiences, and things, okay? First one is, is feelings. And, and if you got to decide what your dominant feelings were in the new year, what would you want your dominant feelings to be? Peace, joy, love, just feeling good, uh, abundant. What would you want your dominant feelings to be? So my, my first paragraph is always, thank you, God, that I just felt so loved this year, or I felt so peaceful, I felt so blessed this year. I felt like I was just walking in grace. So the first paragraph for me is a letter of what I want my dominant feeling to be in this year. And it can be anything. But I, I want us to be conscious about what are the feelings that we want to live into. Like, most of us don't need help living in more regret, right? Or living in more upset or anger or resentment. So I want you to be very intentional. What's the feeling that you want to live. I, I thank you, God, for the moments of just incredible joy and ecstasy that I felt this year. So you can decide. So the first one is feelings. The next one is experiences. Um, and, and what are the experiences that you'd like? Like, I thank you, God, for the, the experience of all the healings that I had this year. Or thank you, God, for the experiences I had with my family. Or thank you, God, for the experiences I had in nature. Or thank you, God, on that experience that I had. And, and, and you get to define the experiences that you want to have. Because I want it in your mind, you deciding what your experiences are going to be. That, that we are actually co-creating with God. So what do you want your experiences to be? And, and from your, your feelings to your experiences. And then if there are things that are important to you to create this year, I want you to write, thank you, God, for the fulfillment of this desire for this trip or this relationship or whatever it is, right? I want you to be very clear about the feelings, the experiences, and the things. And, and I, I invite you to write it as a, as a thank you note. Like you're looking back at this year, seeing all the ways that you've been blessed. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes now. I want you to write your little note to God and then... Um, we're going to talk about what you do with it.
Okay, here's what we're going to do. Now, from this point on, there's two ways you can handle it. If you're finished, I want you to fold it up, put it in the envelope, and then you can either take the envelope home with you, and it says letters to God, and you can pin it to your November calendar or your day timer or your file folder, and so that in November you see it and you remember it, you open it up and you look at it. The other way you can do it is to address it to yourself and drop it in the offering basket. And then in November, we'll mail it back to you. So which, if you have control issues, you'll want to take it home. <laughs> if you have low control issues, you might want to just address it to yourself and be surprised in November when it's mailed back to you. So you get to decide how you play the game, okay? All right, you ready? Let's take a moment of quiet. God, we give thanks for the freeing power of spirit. We give thanks that the way we walked in here today is not the way we are leaving. That we are set free from the past and we are clear about today and the year ahead of us. We know what we want to feel we know what we want to experience, and we know what we want to create. And then over and over again, we come back to these three things. We know what we want to feel, what we want to experience, and what we want to create. So we dedicate this year, 2023, to be the living testimony, to the living expression of all the good that you are. So in the name and through the power of the living Christ, we give thanks. And so it is. Amen. Amen. All right, this is the giving. I want you to take a deep breath. And as we step into this new year, I invite you to feel the activity of God that is desiring just to bless you. That everything God is wants to fill your life And today we clear the space. We let go of all that is unnecessary, all the old thoughts and beliefs and doubts and fears, and we give them all to God. We hold nothing back. But we clear the space to be wildly blessed in the new year. God is infinite. God has infinite love and joy and peace. And so today, we clear the space. We prepare our soul to fully receive, to know all the good that God is. No matter what your life has been to this point, no matter what's gone on, no matter how great or how bad it has felt to you. Today we let it go. For we know that no matter how great or wonderful our life has been, that God has, is even greater good for us. That infinite love and joy and peace and abundance are available to all of us. So we let go of the disbelief. We let go of the wounded stories. We let go of all the fears and doubts. And we allow the infinite goodness of God to bless us fully and completely. Forgive me, Spirit, for any way that I've limited my life. Forgive me for every way that I have limited my life. Forgive me for the doubts and the fears and the drama. Forgive me for everything that I have done to make my life smaller than it needed to be. Today I step into the fullness of who you are. To be fully expressed and to fully experience all the good that you are, God. 
I no longer allow the beliefs of the past to define my life. I no longer allow small thinking to create my future. I allow infinite love and peace and joy into every level of my life. Wherever I have believed in lack and limitation, forgive me. Wherever I have created a life that doesn't fully serve me, forgive me. For I am no longer committed to the limitations of the past. I am no longer committed to the smallness of my life. I am ready to embrace all that you are. All that you are. Expand my mind, expand my heart. Fill my soul with your infinite good. And now in a moment of silence, I just invite you to feel the flood of God's blessings into your life. In the name and through the power of the living Christ, we dedicate this new year to God, to living in the fullness of God, to letting our light so shine, to being the radiant example of all the good that God is. Holy Spirit, lead us, heal us, Teach us to live in the fullness of God. That we are open and receptive to all that God is. And this day, we step into this new year, not from the old mindset, but as a soul clearly focused on God and ready to be all that God calls us to be. And so it is.